Hello everyone, welcome back. And yes, this is my first haul for Winners Marshall's Home Sense in what three months or so. Um, so yeah, a little bit, a little bit excited. Um, there was not um, a, a lot in the store. It wasn't packed with merchandise. I'm sure when they first shut down, uh, they just stopped their shipments immediately um, after. It was shut down so yeah there it wasn't packed with uh, merchandise um, a lot of the stuff I remember when I went there last before they they closed it up and that sort of thing but there were a lot of clearance um, items in that and I didn't go it they opened up almost a week ago uh, but I didn't go at first because I just wanted to kind of the novelty to wear off um, because I knew everyone would be rushing in there and I didn't want to wait in line and that. So I, when I went to Winners um, uh, quite a few days after it opened up, I literally didn't even have to wait. There was no lineup at the time. I went just before supper, so maybe that could have been it. Um, but yeah, they, I, w I was quite impressed. I thought if the store is going to be jam-packed, I'm just going to turn around and leave. Uh, I did have an uh, N95 mask on and uh, Frank has them for his workers because they um, construction's back to work and they do need it for um, the chemicals that they work with uh, so I it's um, not a medical grade N95 but uh, for construction and that so it's a little more heavy duty and literally I went uh, to Winters and Marshalls and I used up an entire Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer every time I touched something I basically was uh, disinfecting myself so I was very impressed though um, they only allowed so many people in the stores at once so it, I mean I could look around I could barely see anyone so uh, the only place was a little bit busy was the line the the uh, line up to uh, cash out and that sort of thing but um, everyone was six feet apart everyone honored everyone's little spaces and that so um, I was quite impressed a little little surprise how few people were wearing masks um, I was trying to protect myself and others but um, anyway I was hoping to see a little more people with masks on but so uh, now this stuff I all I disinfected. Um, I do have my Lysol wipes here. Uh, so everything's been wiped down. The only thing I didn't do um, was I haven't washed the clothes yet. Um, uh, so after this, I'm going to put them all in the wash machine. Uh, dis disinfect my hands after and that. So um, never be too careful. So I'll start. Um, with the one candle I bought. I did buy just one candle. This is the first candle I've bought since, um, well, close to, to three months now. And it's a DW candle. And it was a big puppy. This is a 20 ounce candle and it was uh, $20 Canadian. So usually their 10 ounce uh, candles are $10. So it's just like kind of buying two candles in one. It's quite, it's quite huge. And this is Apple Blossom. By DW candle and that's the lid there and yeah it's a very very pretty wraparound label there so this one is crisp green apples sweet blossoms and hints of ripe red Fuji apple blend with soft jasmine and I definitely get uh, that green apple scent I, yeah, I do get the green apple. I do get like a red apple. I do get a little bit of a sweet floral in there. This one has a two wick. I was kind of hoping it would have three wicks, but we'll see how it we still see how it burns. I don't think I've uh, burned one DW quite this large, so hopefully those two wicks can handle it. So that was my only candle. <laughs> um, there's other ones that were quite nice but um, I just I just did get the one and then uh, soap wise uh, I did hear a lot about this company previously Grace Cole England and it is a hand soap and it does look like the moisturizing type uh, but the scents are just fantastic this is uh, 300 mils and it was just $4.99 so um, I think it's a pretty decent price and the scent notes on here are just 
smell wonderful. Oud Accord and Velvet Musk, right up my alley. So Oud is from the agar tree, so it is kind of a, a woodsy, it's a woodsy musky scent. Um, very, very uh, soft, very soothing. And then the Velvet Musk. Mm, that is good. That is so nice. A little bit perfumey, but not too much. But uh, yeah, I just absolutely love that scent. And it has a little tassel there on it. And then the other scent I did get was Warm Vanilla and Sandalwood. And this one really is just such a good smell. Oops, I got some on my nose. Well, anyway, my nose will be clean. Oh, this is so good. Um, this is a, like a undertone is like a sugary perfume. Uh, then you get the warm vanilla and sandalwood. So, uh, yeah, I guess the vanilla is like the, that sweet um, vanilla I'm picking up. The sandalwood makes it very soft and just, they're, they're really, really beautiful, beautiful scents. All righty. And then I did purchase this travel uh, brush and it's by... Now, a lot of this stuff isn't in the packaging because I threw that out and disinfected everything. So this is um, by Isaac Mizrahi, who's uh, he's a fashion designer. And this is actually a uh, brush that you can use for uh, powder or uh, blush. Uh, but this little case keeps the bristles from getting crushed when you're traveling, uh, whenever we're going to be traveling again. Uh, so you just pull it like this and then push this down and yeah this will be good for uh, blush or powder and oh my god if you could reach through the screen this is so soft it is incredibly soft and then uh, when you're done with it you just pull this up and then uh, just push the top back on so uh, yeah I just absolutely love the pattern there so yeah that's perfect for for travel I did get in our skinny syrups because we're running a little bit low um, and it's been a while since I've been able to purchase this so I did get the Irish cream uh, skinny syrups for coffee and that and then um, uh, I did get some eyeshadow palettes now I really do like BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes they're very very good quality and you just don't hear about them too much but they're very good quality so this was their fairy lights eye palette and I believe it came out at Christmas um, just 2019 there and um, I think I heard that was 20 American so it would have been more when it first came out but they had it on clearance for seven dollars and the packaging is really, really pretty. And it's got a little bit of a mirror. And whoops. And those are the colors there. So there's quite a range. You get the blues and you get some rose colors and then uh, some browns and that sort of thing. But yeah, these are very, very pigmented. Like holy moly. Yikes. Uh, let me try a couple of um, shimmers. Oh, it's still all, all over my fingers there. And a couple of shimmers there. So yeah, uh, BH Cosmetics is very good quality. And uh, to get this for $7 is, is fantastic. And then I did get this uh, Too Faced Tutti Frutti Razzle Dazzle Berry. So this, these were on... Uh, they were selling these just before they shut down there and um, usually this is about four, I think at Sephora they were like 40 45 Canadian and then I did get it for uh, $10 on clearance they did have a couple of different uh, color options but this one uh, really kind of appealed to me uh, so you'd get a decent sized mirror it does smell like berries but Literally, you have to stick your nose right up to it. But those are the colors there. Uh, so yeah, I really, really do like those colors. So I'll just do a few here. And where's that one purple there? This one's really nice. 
Uh, so yeah, I just I just really like the the colors in there. Alrighty, and then um, I did get some uh, jasmine green tea. I do love the taste of jasmine tea. And uh, this is by OGX. This is the Botifine, Botifine uh, Bamboo Fiberful Tossel Spray. So I have tried this one, the uh, Bamboo Fiberful, the hairspray, and I really do like it. So this one is a tossel spray. So it just gives that PC kind of look to your hair there. So I really do enjoy these OGX products. I did get this Bite Beauty. Uh, it's a prismatic multi-stick, and it's in cock pearl. And I, now I didn't want to go and open everything up, so I wasn't sure what color this was when I got home. You're supposed to be able to use this on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. But when I looked at the color, I thought, oh boy, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, this is something I'd probably just use on my eyes, not on my lips or cheeks. And... So this is the color, and I'm thinking, yeah, that's not going to be good on my lips or anything. So, But I thought it would be a good eyeshadow for sure. It's a duochrome, so you can see a little bit of the, like a, a light rusty brown and a kind of bluish green there. So I think that would look nice on the, the eyes there. And that was actually on clearance for $5. And then there was this... Um, Too Faced Tutti Fruity Juicy Fruit Comfort Lip Glaze. And this was on clearance for $3. And this is the color Ruby Ripe. Now I saw Emily Noel. Um, she was wearing this in one of her tutorials. And um, I thought, whoa, that's, that's, really, uh, that's really dark. Um, but she it looked really good on her. So... Um, So yeah, it's it's pretty dark, but it's shiny. But I would just I would put some on, then I kind of blot it. Um, I would just put a thin layer on there. But the color looks so pretty on her. So, and for three dollars, hey, why not? And then there was this uh, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick. And I've heard good things about this Gen Nude line, uh, but I wouldn't pay full, full price. Um, for any any lipstick like high-end lipstick it was $7.99 it's probably like 20 Canadian and this is in the color strip and I'm getting more into like nude tones but as long as they're not too light and it looks like I have wearing concealer on my lips I just don't like that look so if they're like a real peachy nude or a pinky nude I like uh, so anyway where are we gonna put this So this one's actually not too... Oh, geez, that's totally, totally awkward. Um, let's try here. So that would actually look nice in the fall. It's almost like a rusty nude, so I do like that one. Alrighty, and then um, this is the Stylus Pump It Up Express Blowout Serum, and I have purchased this before, and I'm getting low on it. Um, and it's finally come back. Uh, so it's like a styling cream. Um, gives you a little bit of volume, but conditions your hair. And um, yeah, I just, I just really like that one. And uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Star Primer. Water Gel Primer with Anise Extract. And I didn't see the Anise Extract, because that is like licorice. And it, it smells like licorice. Um, I don't mind, but if you don't want your face to smell like licorice, but it does feel quite moisturizing, and that licorice smell does dissipate once it's absorbed. Uh, but anyway, it's kind of a, a, an unusual smell for a face primer, but it is very moisturizing. And... I mean, it feels a little bit tacky. I haven't really given it a chance to absorb there, but... Um, it does feel quite moisturized and just slightly tacky. So if you have foundation or anything that you want to last a while. Um, but yeah, it just takes takes a few minutes for that licorice smell to go away. But, um, 
All right, T, what else? Oh, I did get another one of these um, trays. This was on clearance for like $7. And you just put lipsticks here or, you know, different types of makeup and that on there. All right, so, and then um, I did get a, um, a purse. And this one, uh, retail, it was $78 and it was on clearance for $30. And I love wicker purses, but a lot of them are really small, which are, are cute, um, but I just need a bigger purse. So I did find this one, this um, wicker one, and it has that kind of uh, dusty blue handle on there. And it's nice and big. I need a big purse. Um, but yeah, for $30 and... Uh, it just has that nice light wicker look to it. And then um, I did buy this um, travel laundry bag. So you just, um, it opens up and then you just put your dirty laundry in there just to keep it separate from everything else. And then uh, uh, clothes wise, um, I did buy another rain jacket. Um, and this one uh, is a nice green one by Marmot. And retail was $165, and this was on clearance for $50. And yeah, it just has a hood. <clears throat> it has a couple really big pockets. It doesn't have any inside pockets, which I would kind of like. But anyway, um, the two front pockets are quite, quite large. And I found this little B t-shirt. Uh, and it was on clearance for $8, and it just has all these little bees on it. And the material is really, really soft, and it's, um, it's quite long. I don't like t-shirts that uh, barely even clear your waist. I, I like a longer fit to it, but um, just for uh, hanging around the house, I thought that was quite pretty. And then um, before the lockdown, I was looking at the shirt and they had it on for 30 and I thought, ah, it's a little much. Um, and then I went back and it was on clearance for $15. And uh, it's just that really gauzy material. It has, it's um, gathered at the neck and then it has all these uh, flowing little pleats and it's quite long, like wide and flowy. And I just really like the pattern on there. And then I just got some um, uh, workout clothes. I found these gray pants and I like gray because it goes with everything. It's neutral and every color goes with it. So I bought these and they go just below the knee. They had a couple of really large pockets and um, yeah, I just really like those. This is, uh, now I don't golf. I tried a couple times and I don't enjoy it. But um, I guess this is a golf shirt, but I thought it'd be nice for, uh, I just really like the colors, the mint green and the yellow. Uh, so I thought, uh, I won't be golfing, but it'll help soak up the sweat. And uh, this is another little workout shirt. It's just ruched at the sleeves there. And, uh, yeah, I just don't have any any red t-shirts for working out, so. And um, I think that's it. So that is my first um, haul from Winners and that. Oh, I forgot this stuff. Sorry, I've <laughs> this little storage box. Um, I just really liked it because it had the uh, old fashioned telephones that um, we used when I was growing up and a typewriter which I remember in high school writing up many essays on a typewriter so that's going way back isn't it so I just I just had to have that for sentimental reasons so anywho uh yeah that's it so uh yeah it was nice to see the stores open again um I'm sure now that um it's been almost a week since they've been open that they're really going to bring a lot more merchandise in I think they're just trying to get rid of the stuff that was in there before they shut down before they really load up the store again so anyway it was enjoyable they were um being very safe about it so um yeah it was enjoyable it was nice to get back 
back on the saddle there again. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, everyone take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.